What's going on, guys? We are back with the Rocket League Central playoffs scenarios from the Pro League. We're going into the final week this week. It is week seven. Everyone will have completed their six set of matches after this week, and this is what the teams need to do to clinch playoff spots. I also uh, put in like uh, the fight for the number one spot as well as uh, just clinching playoffs. Not really three and four. I didn't deal with too much here because it's not that big of a deal. So let's get to it. First, we're going to start with North America. As you can see, well, here, I'll point the right way. That way, I think. There we go. To the uh, stand-ins that are going to be up there, as always. So here we go. I don't even know what I just said. I honestly have no clue. So here we go. North America tiebreakers. First tiebreak is always head-to-head. And in case of a three-way tie, it's combined head-to-head. -head. So say three teams play, if one team wound up going six and four, while the other team went five and five, and the other team went four and six between their uh, games against each other, the team that went six and four would be in first in that tiebreaker uh, scenario. The team in second at five and five would be second. Um, if two teams are tied um, at the end of a three-way tiebreaker, then it goes back to just head-to-head -head between those two. So generally, I think there's no possible way to have a goal differential uh, come into play here because that only happens if a three-way tie is perfectly even at five and five i think every tiebreaker has some winner in some form so we don't have to worry about goal differential at all going into the final week so here's some notable tiebreak scenarios in north america we have uh i buy power um over kings of urban we have orange cream school uh over apollo 11 uh cream school also beat untethered Untethered beat Apollo 11, and Failure to Launch beat Orange Creamsicle. So Orange Creamsicle has a pretty good show in here, and of course, Eye by Power has the advantage over Kings, and Apollo 11 is looking a little shaky. That's basically what it comes down to here. And Mocket has been eliminated from playoff contention. It's the only team in North America that cannot make playoffs no matter what happens this week. So, let's continue. First, we have the fight for first for North America. We have uh, the number one seed is either going to Eye by Power Cosmic or Kings of Urban. If I buy power wins three games, then they get the number one seed. If Kings of Urban, I'm sorry, um, if Cosmic wins two games or less, then Kings of Urban gets the number one seed. Kings of Urban, though, are guaranteed at least a two seed. Uh, I buy can fall to the three, which you'll see in a second. We have Untethered, who's in the number three spot um, as of now at 14 and 11. If they 5 0 Cosmic, then they take over the two seed because of the tiebreaker. Um,. And then two wins guarantees a number three seed for Untethered. One win guarantees a playoff spot, and they miss playoffs. The only way th that they miss playoffs is with zero wins, and Apollo gets five wins, and Orange Cream School gets four wins or more. It's the only way Untethered uh, cannot make playoffs, which is very unlikely, but hey, we've seen Stranger Things, right? Like those two goals in five seconds last week? Like what the hell is that? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Next up, we got Orange Cream School. They clinch with five wins. If they sweep, they're in the playoffs. If they get the same amount of wins as Apollo um, and a failure to launch wins only one more game or fewer than uh, Cream School, then they also clinch. And, well, I should say, or they get four wins and Untethered gets zero wins. Because if that happens, then they would win the tiebreak over um, Untethered and they would move up past Untethered. That's one of the scenarios where Untethered could be knocked out. So, Orange Cream School is looking pretty good if they win their set. They are playing Mocket, I believe. So, Mocket's been down and they're out. So, who knows? Maybe Mocket will want to play Spoiler. We'll see how it goes going into it. Next up, we got Apollo 11. So, they clinch with five wins, but they need help. They also need um, uh, like Untethered to get zero wins or Cream School to get less wins than Apollo 11. So, if Cream School swept... Um, Ali and Apollo uh, swept. They would not make playoffs if Untethered got one win. Uh, they can also uh, get in um, if they get more wins than Creamsicle. Uh, plus, Fairy to Launch does not win four games. So Apollo 11 is playing Fairy to Launch. So if Apollo 11 wins three games and Creamsicle wins two or less, they would still make playoffs. That's one of the scenarios. So they need a little bit of help. But if they win five, they got a decent shot. Next up, we got Failure to Launch. They need a lot of help here. They're the last team that could possibly make it, and they need to win five games against Apollo 11, but they also need Cream School to get three wins or less, so they would pass them on the lead. Well, actually, like they could tie them as well, so that's why Cream School could get three wins. They would tie at 13 wins, uh, um, as you can see in the standings, which is that way. Uh, 
and then failure to launch would make it over creamsicle or they get four wins and oc gets two wins or less so if they get four wins they would finish with 12 and apollo since they're playing them would finish with 11 so they would pass apollo then they would just have to hope cream skull has a bad set against mocket and they could also make it from there so i mean uh, they need a lot of help it's, it's very possible it just depends a lot of this depends on what oc does obviously between these teams so we'll see going into that all right next up we got europe so let's pop in the europe bracket here or the table so again first tie break is head to head case of three-way tie combined head to head notable tie break scenarios too many to list. There's tons of scenarios here. I'm just going to leave them there for a second. Let you all do it. Is everyone ready? That's a lot of teams. Don't really have to worry about it because I go through it in the tiebreakers. So let's continue. It'll be a nice short video. Even though it's already five minutes long. Way too long. Already. Way too long. All right. The race for number one, catch and flip side. So flip side has played their 30 games. They have 19 wins. They also hold the tiebreakers over Crown and Jewels and my XMG. So... Those teams have to win more than Flipside to get that number one seed. So, uh, Flipside clinches number one um, if CNJ gets less than four wins, and my XMG also gets less than five wins. Flipside can get number two or three, uh, depending on those results. So, if like CNJ got four wins and uh, my XMG got five wins, they would get the three seed. If only one of them did it, they would get the two seed, and so on. Uh, C and J clinches number one seed with five wins or four wins. Uh, plus my XMG does not get five wins. So C and J, like if they sweep, they get it. The four wins versus the my XMG uh, does not get five wins is because if they tie, my XMG holds that tiebreaker. So my XMG would get the number one seed if they got five wins, while Crown and Jewels got only four. Um, as said in the last line here but cnj has also clinched a playoff berth so this is the last time we'll talk about them let's continue to the number three seed my xmg they clinch playoffs with one win that's all they need just one win they get the one win they are in because they hold the tie break over noble so they would make it just based on that they can also get in if they get zero wins and noble gets four wins or less because again they hold the tiebreaker uh, uh over noble with their 3-2 win they had a couple weeks back i think it was so that's pretty simple for them. Supersonic Avengers, they clinch with four wins. So they play my XMG, so this is a tough set. But they'll pass my XMG, like if they get four wins, because a 4-1 will give them 17. My XMG will have 16. So they would clinch there with four wins. Or they advance if Noble wins only one more game, to, uh, or fewer, uh, obviously, then Supersonic Avengers, because they're two behind them, but Noble holds a tiebreaker over Supersonic Avengers. Plus, they need uh, SK to win only four more games or fewer than uh, Supersonic Avengers. So, like, SK, if they win more games, obviously they pass them, but Supersonic Avengers holds the tiebreaker uh, over SK, so SK could tie them, and Supersonic would still make it through. Now, here's the one three-way tie that matters, really. So, Noble holds the tiebreaker uh, over Supersonic Avengers, but Supersonic Avengers holds it over SK, and SK holds it over Noble, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But uh, since Supersonic Avengers beat uh, SK 4-1, to one, and the other games are all 3-2, they would have a better three-way tie combined head-to-head. -head. And so if the three of them tied, then Supersonic Avengers would advance. So if they all tied for that four seed, Supersonic Avengers gets it. So SK and Noble both don't want that. But it's weird because if Noble and Supersonic Avengers tie without SK, Noble goes through. So it's a little weird. But that's how, you know, that's how tiebreakers work. Anyway, let's continue. Noble, they need a decent amount of help. They can clinch with five wins. They do play Spectral, who uh, is eliminated. So that could help them a little bit here. Uh, but they need five wins plus Supersonic Avengers. They get less than four wins. I think that's right. I could be wrong. Yeah, so if Super Sound Avengers gets three wins, they would win the tiebreaker over them and they would advance. If they get four wins, they do not win the tiebreaker uh, over my XMG because my XMG would also have 16 wins, so they would not win that tiebreaker. So they want to pass Super Sonic Avengers more than likely. Or they get two more wins than Super Sonic Avengers plus uh, SK does not catch them. Like they don't get, uh, they only win one more game than Noble, not two. Now, SK is playing Crown and Jewel, so it's going to be a tough matchup for them. 
continue. Now, SK, they're they're in a rough spot. It's going to be really hard for them to make it. They only make it if they get five wins. They need five wins no matter what. I think. Yeah. So uh, they clinch five wins and zero wins from Supersonic Avengers. Plus, Noble has to win three or less games. So they hold the tiebreaker uh, over Noble, but not if it's a three-way tie with Supersonic Avengers. So they need Supersonic Avengers to not win any games. If they win any games, they are done. So it's going to be pretty tough for SK to make it, but they're still alive, technically. So we'll continue from there, and that's it, guys. That's, that's all she wrote. Almost under 10 minutes. We almost did it. So good luck to all teams, except on Tethered, because we're playing you this weekend. But uh, no, f uh, for real, though, uh, this should be a really exciting week. Um, it's on twitch.tv slash Rocket League Central. They start Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Should be a really exciting weekend. Let's see who makes playoffs. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think will make it. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a, like awesome playoffs, which is next weekend. Uh, the following one after this Sunday, obviously. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little confusing with the tiebreakers, but I tried to do it as best I could. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Later.